Here's the original version of the fishing game. Runs on Apple IIe, Apple IIc, and emulators for those machines. Wrote most of this in 1987 and then put it together and completed it in 1991. And here we see the graphics for the fish species. Obviously this is an assembly language to allow such fast animation and the uh, it's randomly generating fish and the speeds are random based on the species some species are faster than others and some species are obviously more abundant than others for example the sun there are a lot more sunfish and now the instructions show each species there are 18 species and each of the nine fish graphics has two species. It was common with older games to save space by sharing species with a particular graphic. For example, Ultima 3 had three species of monster for each graphic. Wizardry did, did a similar tactic. Although here, the different species are, they vary in terms of abundance and size. Typically the rarer species gets larger than the common species though not always for example spotted bass here are smaller than largemouth bass here's the gar that's the largest average size of the regular species it's exciting when a gar bites as in real life and the it's people typically like to cat, hook a catfish too they can get really big as do the drum the drum pull hard and fight well. And here's the smallmouth. Smallmouth is obviously the fastest of the fastest species in this game as they're super fast in real life. Here's a page worth of instructions on how to play the game. Basically you create a character, you buy equipment, then you choose where you want to fish Now we're going, here's my character's lifetime totals. It keeps track of how many fish you've caught of each species. And now we're going fishing. It takes a while to swap files back and forth because an Apple had 64K memory. We had to load files from the disk drive. I'm going to skip showing inventory and going to the store. Those are fun, but let's go fishing. And here we are in the outside world. This is obviously written in assembly language also to animate high-res graphics so quickly. The tile size is typical because of the way Apple graphics hardware worked. Each byte in graphics was seven pixels wide, so the tiles are 14 pixels wide. And there's a special terrain graphic, if you saw that in GAR. That's one symbol that did not appear in some future versions. All right, we're at a fishing hole. Now we're choosing a rod, a reel, and a line strength. and bait. Now we're ready to cast. In this, in this version you basically just wait for a fish to bite and set the hook. You don't always feel the bite so you could set the hook without there being an indication of a bite. The time moves about four times as fast, so a minute might last 15 seconds in of real real time. Action is actually a lot faster than real life fishing. 
and I lowered my drag a bit. Oh, got a fish on now. Took out a couple feet of line. This one's relatively small, but if it's a sunfish, it's pretty big for a sunfish. In real life, this would be a keeper, probably. I've reeled it on the line, just about ready to land the fish. Oh, see a 6.8 inch bluegill, that's that's big for a bluegill. We're going to move to another fishing hole now. Here we go. Uh oh, he's about to walk in some horse nettle. Ah! He got into some more horse nettle. Oh, here's a boat. Yeah, typically you'll reach a lot of fishing holes by entering the boat. Now we're headed upstream in the river, seeing a few more fishing holes. Here's one of my favorites. Ooh, we got a bite right away. You can tell from the force online this fish is bigger. He's taking out several feet of line. But still not big enough to break the line. If the force on line went over eight, the line would break. Yeah, nine and a half inch drum. That's a nice fish. And the bait stayed on. Normally I'd fish here some more, but just to show some more of the outside world, I'm going to exit the hole and head upstream. The arrows point which way the current's going. So it takes longer to reach holes upstream from downstream than vice versa. Now I'm gonna you can beach the boat in still water. Now I'm going oh more horse nettle. More horse nettle. Oh I found a lake. That was just to show some more of the world. I'm headed back. And I'll fish another hole in the river. Another instant bite. This fish is rather small but big for a sunfish if that's what it is. If we were using us oh, a six inch longer. If we were using different baits, we might have fewer sunfish and higher percentage of larger species, but it might take longer for them to bite. So you can and now we're ending the session. It gives detailed stats about what you caught when and how much they're worth and how much you lost of every item. Thanks for watching.